It's the mat work. So, uh, I'm a producer. I think I we spoke yesterday, um, and I have uh, essentially two brands that I'm I'm managing right now. Um, one is the beat site where I sell my, my music from made to beats.com. And then my personal brand, which is Wyatt Earp on, uh, on Instagram and Twitter. So, uh, I was wondering, is that a good, I don't want to say, is it a good strategy, but would you recommend a strategy like that for a producer to break out if they're trying to like the main, my main goal is to sell beats online, um, you know, right now, uh, but you know, would you recommend that strategy at this time? So you said you have one page, producer page, and the other page is rapper page, or what? No, it's not. It's not rapper page. It's a. Uh, it's more like a, a personal lifestyle page. I, I help producers on that page. So my beat store is for rappers, and then right. my Hold page. Is for Let producers. me just pull them up. Let me okay. pull them up. Um. Uh, I posted it in the chat. I figured it out. I'm but, my way through. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm about to vote right now. Yo, thank you, my guy. All right, so what's, give me one of the pages. It's made two beats. So uh, number two and then beats. Yeah, that's it. So that's that's where I sell my beats. And then the other page is what? It's Wyatt Earp. So W Y A T T E R P underscore. Uh, oh, sorry. T E. I'm oh, sorry. Double T. E R P okay. underscore. No, that's not it. There we go. All right, cool. Let me see what it looks feels like. All right. All right, so what do you um actually first tell me this. What do you, what's the engagement and everything look like around your pages right now? Like what do you, and as far as the goal for it, let's say this beat selling page, do you feel like you're getting traction and, and beat sold through it? Um, I'm definitely, I will, when I run ads, I get, you know, I definitely get the, I get the engagement that I'm looking for, but um, like just organic engagement, uh, it hasn't really been much. Honestly, I haven't been posting consistently enough to really be able to judge, you know, how much engagement I'm really getting. But um I think my question was more just on the branding strategy. Uh, you know, I eventually, I don't, the reason why I didn't want to tie my personal brand to my beat store is because I don't want to just make beats for the rest of my life. I want to be able to eventually help other producers, help artists, you know, develop their brands and develop their careers. So I didn't want to be associated to made two beats as just like pigeonholed into just a beat maker. So you know, my goal with this is to just have this be a main, mainly music page and have other producers be able to get on through this page, make their beats and then, you know, sell their beats through my brand. Um, and then my other page is going to be mainly to help producers in like a personal lifestyle page. Does that make sense? Got you. Um, so the only dissension is really the point where you, the, the extent to which you get lifestyle, um, because... <clears throat> What could work is you doing this as a page, and then if you're helping producers, right? I mean, it's a beat page, and I get help at the same time. Those things don't necessarily, like, uh, you know, not mix. They right. go together. So you could still tell that stuff, tell that story. You, I just wouldn't suggest getting as deep into the lifestyle, but I would probably like to start off, I would probably keep everything in one space and but you can market yourself and brand yourself as the representative, right? And you produce, but you, you, it doesn't have to be, these are all just your beats, right? Like what, cause right. what is your, what is your name that you go by? It's Wyatt Earp. Right. So this is Wyatt, Wyatt Earp from made two beats. You get what I mean? Right, right, right. Okay. So, 
So you're already creating that company head. Even if you're just the only person doing the beats at the time. All right? But then, of course, you at some point you might market and create um, something where you say, hey, man, who wants to make beats for May 2 Beats or whatever? Or we're doing a contest or something. Like you, you already create that trust, right? Because especially when you talk about bringing in certain other producers, you want to have some trust and create a face to the name. And it's not that you can't do it without having a face at all. Mm. You definitely can. But if you already look to build a personal brand in the first place, mm. I would put them together. And they also, because you're doing this here, it's a waste of time when you have minimal resources, right? Where just put everything and all the strategy into this one page, still get your, your face out there. And then as it gets to a certain point, you become more heavy. It's not that you can't actually do shit on this page, but mm -hmm. this it leave it more as, okay, it's personal journey. I do it, but I'm not putting any growth energy towards this until this gets to a certain point. Mm -hmm. This gets to a certain point. Then you can start pushing yourself more and build yourself up a little bit more that way. Okay. I got you. Yeah. I appreciate that. That tidbit. For sure. And I would say, let me I like the artwork. the artwork looks dope. Yeah, I, I appreciate do. that. Thank you.